Hey everyone, welcome or welcome back. Today we are working on week 15 in my Project Life album for 2023. For this week, I am using my Studio Calico Documenter Kit and um, it came with these uh, bright red alpha stickers, which I wasn't going to use, but then I realized the cards that I chose have that red in it. <laughs> so... We're going to go ahead and um, use it to spell out week. And this alpha sticker set does not come with numbers. Shame on you. Just kidding. Um, but yeah, so I'm going to go through my stash of chipboard from, I believe these are Studio Calico anyways. So I'll use that to put 15. The kit came with these cute um, butterfly puffy stickers. And there's a few flowers on there too. So I went ahead and used that to decorate my title card along with some of the die cuts and uh, sticker labels that came in the kit. So there is that card close up. Next photo is a photo of my son and his friends in the pool. And then um, I tried something different and I printed off a two by a photo um, that was two by two because I had this picture in my mind um, that it would stand out, but I actually had to back it on the white paper. <laughs> I should have printed it with a border, but anywho, I fixed that. And it's just a smaller picture of my son, like actually jumping midair into the pool. So I thought that was cute. And then I'm going to go ahead and use um, these labels actually that came with the kit. And I love this month's labels because every one of them is different. They're not all just like blue or red or yellow. They're all different. So um, I just went ahead and wrote that it was a play date. Uh, sorry about the lighting. It just like got, I don't know, light and dark. The sun was being weird that day. Um, but this next set of 3 by 4s um, I actually printed some of these. Um, I don't remember if it's Allie, uh, Allie Edwards or Studio Calico maybe. Um, stamps and I just printed it on they were digital stamps so I printed it on clear sticker paper and then I went ahead and um, decorated <laughs> that photo of uh, that 3 by 4 of the doggy and then I put it a, I put a border around it oh my god words are so hard today um, and those were just two close-ups of my dogs and so I thought this um, little take it easy journaling card was super cute although there is a cat on it it's totally fine. <laughs> I just went ahead and wrote that we were hanging outside and um, my smaller dog right here on the right hand side, Honey, she was like napping on the, the bench that we have. This next photo is um, from a different day of my son jumping in the pool. And same thing, I did a two by two and that is a digital stamp that says yes. And I went ahead and uh, printed it as well on clear sticker paper. And I'm just going to go ahead and put it in this corner because we are so excited that we're getting warmer weather. Although some days it's been getting kind of cold. But at least we have the option to go in the pool. This next um, 3 by 4 card and 3 by 4 photo. I'm just going to adhere together or put together <laughs> with uh, washi tape. And it's um, a photo of me setting up to get ready to plant some seeds. And so that um green journaling card says grow baby grow so i went ahead and just journaled about how we planted some veggies and flowers to see if they bloom this year um our summers do get really really hot here so we'll see if anything does bloom if they'll last <laughs> um but on to the second half of the spread here is a photo of me holding my coffee cup by the pool. I just adhered these two die cuts that came in the kit. Um, I'm trying to remember to layer when I can. And I'm just going to put one of the labels in the bottom and just journal about how um, I was able to have my morning coffee outside by the pool and I listened to music. Loved it. Um, here is a photo of my bench, my secondhand bench. I ordered this cushion for it off of Overstock.com and it came... So I just journaled about that. It goes with our like theme of like tropical. Our theme is like we're trying to go for tiki, but it's tropical. It works. <laughs> this uh, journaling card that I was uh, setting up is a photo of Allie from Saturday's Week in Life prep day. So um, the monthly kit actually came with 
different size like chipboard frames and I always forget to use them. So before I had actually started recording, I set everything out so I would remember to use it. Um, so that's what I'm going to do. And I'm actually going to put a, um, uh, well, I backed the photo on white paper <laughs> to start off. I'll put a label at the bottom to write out a uh, week in the life prep day with Ellie. And then I'm going to just add a few, um, two puffy flowers on there. And then I tried to draw like a messy line around my tag. I like when I see other people do it. I don't like it on mine, but I left it. We're just going to embrace it. Here is a photo of me um, crafting outside, a photo of my son and our dog. And then that is us in the pool. This next photo here is a photo from my son's baseball game. And um, the Believe in Me is another digital stamp that I printed on clear sticker paper <laughs> and I'm just going to journal about how um, this weekend's game they sh they walked him all three times he went up to bat so this season we've noticed he's been walked a lot and I don't know if it's I know it has something to do with the pitching um, the pitchers that are pitching to him are way shorter than he is my son's maybe five five already so compared to a small person, it's it's a little hard to get the correct strike zone. Um, but uh, at first he was kind of bummed, but he's kind of just working through it. So just want to let him know that I believe in him and he should believe in himself. Um, this last uh, card, journaling card, is, I'm going to add here that flower decal. And then there's another one of those chipboard frames. And it's just a photo from the end of the game, which like the, the team is lined up where they tell the parents thank you. Then I'm going to um, layer these two photos on the right. It's a photo of my son getting ready to steal second base. And then this, just a small screenshot of his game and how it ended. I normally put the whole recap in there, but I didn't want to add any flip-ups this week. Kept it easy. Kept it simple. I know how, how the game went. And yeah, that is it. So here is the final flip through of it. Thank you again for watching hope you like what you see and if you haven't done so already please consider liking and subscribing and i'll be seeing you soon friends bye